Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Valentine's Day and I thought that I would do a get ready with me video as I get ready for the day. So every morning I like to spend a little bit of time just relaxing. So I start off by doing a little bit of my devos on my phone and then I spend a little bit of time scrolling before I get up. After I get up, I like to go into the kitchen and grab my supplements for the day. I've been doing a really terrible job trying to get back into my supplement routine and so when I do remember, I try to take these before breakfast. And I tried so hard to record something really nice on my camera with my getting ready. I tried to get some nice shots of me doing my makeup and my hair, but without having Matt here, it was really difficult to set up the shots, and so I decided to just film this part on my phone. Um, if you would like to see an actual getting ready video, then let me know down in the comments. Here I am checking to see if any of my shots were going to work out, and they didn't. I don't know about anybody else, but I've actually always loved Valentine's Day because it's just a day where you get to dress up a little bit fancier than you normally would, and I always loved giving people, friends and family, just little gifts and cards and stuff like that. And it's especially special for us this Valentine's Day because it is our first Valentine's Day as a married couple. So I wanted to make it special by getting ready and doing a little bit extra. After getting ready, I like to go and make my bed. I feel like I can just focus a little bit better when the bed is made and um, especially with working from home, it makes my mental space a little bit clearer. Now I recognize that I actually wore this outfit in the last video, but I really love this outfit and so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to wear it again. So this turtleneck that I'm wearing is from Blue Notes, and then this cream colored vest is from Reitman's. And this little hair scarf is actually something that I made myself and I am so in love with it. And then my jeans are from Hollister. Last night I also decided to do my nails because Valentine's Day, I decided it was appropriate to go with a pink color and then I also added an accent nail with some glitter and a tiny little heart. After getting ready for the day, it's time to make some breakfast. I have been loving making oatmeal for breakfast these days. It's just something that's super simple and it's filling but not too filling and it's also something that I find my stomach can tolerate these days. I like to eat my breakfast right before I get ready for work. Some of my favorite toppings recently to put on my oatmeal has been coconut. I also like to add in a little bit of cinnamon, some chocolate chips, and some brown sugar. Sometimes I also like to add in some almond butter for some added protein. Here I'm trying to show you a 
clip of my oatmeal, but it's blurry because I'm trying to learn how to use the viewfinder. After eating my breakfast, I decided I had some room left and I was going to make a hot chocolate. After making my hot chocolate, I was pleasantly surprised by one of my friends stopping by for some tea. This mug is actually a mug that I painted by hand. There's a cute little ceramics place in my city and for me, painting is like therapy and so this mug took me about two to three hours to paint and I also wrote a little verse on the inside from Psalm 46 verse 5 which says that the Lord is within her and she will not fall. After visiting with my friend for a little bit, it's time to make a cheesecake. So this is actually something that has become a tradition for Matt and I for Valentine's Day and for birthdays. I like to make us a allergy-friendly cheesecake. This is a tradition that my mom started with my dad and I decided to carry it forward with my own husband. And so I'm going to share the recipe here with you guys. Starting off, I've just put some gluten-free Oreos in a blender and I am just breaking those up here. And I realized that the blender wasn't plugged in so I had to plug that in first. After blending up the Oreos, you're going to want to add a little bit of butter into the Oreo mix. There's my husband, home for lunch. So I like to use a dairy-free butter, so I use like an oat-based butter. And I just mix that in with the Oreo crumbs for a crust. I also decided to put it in these cute little red ramekins because it's Valentine's Day, you have to follow the theme. So I just pressed down the Oreo cookies into the bottom of the ramekin to form a crust. I will also leave the full recipe down in the description for you to follow. After I was finished with the crust, I took some lactose-free cream and I whipped that into whipped cream. And here I'm adding in my lactose-free cream cheese. So I am actually lactose-free, not dairy-free. I just sometimes use dairy-free alternatives. After that has blended together, I also added in some vanilla as well just to give it more flavor and then I added that on top of my Oreo crust. And here's where my mistake lies. I was kind of in a rush here because I had an appointment to get to and so I didn't let the cream cheese base settle before adding the pudding and so the end result was not a very pretty cheesecake. But here I am after my appointment adding the chocolate pudding on top. Another thing that I would do differently is I wouldn't make the chocolate pudding ahead of time because it got really solid and with having a little bit of a softer cream cheese filling, it didn't smooth out very nicely. Matt and I also decided to get each other valentines so I got him a little bit of candy and made him this card and got him some of his favorite drinks. He got me some flowers and he got me all these chocolates. And for the sake of the video, I had to give you a little taste test and it was delicious as it always is. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to continue joining my journey, please subscribe. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Bye.